Welcome, friends, to the fall 2023 semester. I am Randy Sala, Assistant Professor of Business, and welcoming you to the class of BUSI 1307, Personal Finance. I'm glad you're taking this course. I hope you get a lot out of it. I teach for both Northeast and Connect Campus. My physical office is on the Northeast Campus, and this is just some of my contact information, and my email is always now going to be through the Canvas site. So anytime you need to email, you've got your Canvas on this side, and you will pick up the course, and you can shoot me an email anytime you need to. So I'm welcoming you to this class. Friends, the majority of Americans are living in a personal financial nightmare. We are constantly stressed out by money problems. 70 percent of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and are in a sea of personal debt. The average college student is now graduating with well over $40,000 worth of student loans. Now this is average, not everybody. It could be much higher than that and about 10 grand in credit card debt. Is it surprising to know that 25% of all personal bankruptcies are filed by those who are under 28 years old. And you can't do that under 18, so we have about a seven year period right here, seven to eight year period, where people are filing bankruptcies. What a, what a start to a class, right? Well, that's the bad news. The good news is this. If we can start directing our money where it needs to go, then we can experience a whole new world of financial peace. So with this introduction, I truly hope you're going to enjoy this course. This course is like nothing you have ever taken. This course is all about you and your money, which is fantastic. We're going to take away learning concepts that's going to greatly benefit that relationship with your money. So there's my introduction. This is the home page. You'll find a lot of information here for those of you who are new to the Canvas learning system. All right, learning module. I've got your course syllabus and your course outline, your, uh, as well, your, your, your course due dates right here. We've got an orientation quiz. We've got all our links. Now I am showing you basically the instructor's view. The student view is actually a little bit cleaner, but here's a lot of things that we're going to go over. This is an orientation. I'm going to go over the syllabus, the course organizer, and we are going to go over a little bit of navigation, how to get the best out of this course. So now we're going to look at our course syllabus. So on that first page of the homepage of the Canvas, class, we have two documents you can download, which is the course syllabus and the course organizer. So this is the syllabus. Again, my uh, contact information, I do have office hours. Please email for a prior appointment and what I can do is create an MS Teams meeting, but I need that at least 24 hours in advance so we can do an individualized meeting. If we need to, feel free to email anytime. This is the MyTCC email, I believe that is going to be changing in the semester. And so that's probably why the Canvas email is going to be what Tarrant County College is going to go with. So we're in the process of transitioning. Your textbook was included in your tuition. It's an ebook, and I will go over how to access that. It is an excellent book, my friends. One of the best and easiest to understand. It's by Kapoor de Blay Hughes, Personal Finance, 14th edition. It is an ebook. You do have the opportunity for $40 to, to get a hard copy sent to you. And I would suggest you do that because it has the latest of all tax and investment laws and just tips and for you. And it's, it's, it's something that I think you will utilize your entire career. It's just that good of a book. It usually gives you the great ba uh, basics of foundation and we will use that to do our projects in this course. So. Here's the learning objectives. Well, that was just a little bit too fast here. I have a fast mouse going on. One more time. Our learning objectives, we're gonna develop financial goals. All right, a, a money management strategy. Understanding consumer debt, the advantages and disadvantages of having credit. We all need credit. We, we, we need to buy things that are gonna be big in life, cars, homes. We wanna 
under, have a good strategy for, for consumer buying and of course getting out of debt. And when we're through with that, we want to understand how to invest and how to plan for an estate uh, and retirement strategies. Most students who take this course, uh, this course right here, are at different stages of their life. Some could be just entering into college. Some are just taking a different class and have ha are in their career. And so you will find this useful to every, every area. Even if you're just brand new to college and you're saying, I don't even have a full-time job yet, that's all right. You're no people. You have parents, you have maybe uh, friends and family that are older that are in these stages. And I'm going to walk you through as best I can all the way through the beginning through the end of estate planning. So here's our expectations. All right. We're going to, this is our online orientation. All right. You're going to read through this syllabus through the course organizer, get your online quiz going, the orientation quiz, very easy. And then just dive into the class, start reading the assigned chapters. And I have lecture notes, PowerPoints. I've even created lecture videos for you. So you get all sorts of learning right in there, the visual part as well as the, the reading part. So I think you're going to like it. Again, if you'll do what is expected of us, you know, again, we're going to, we have written projects, which are, which are very straightforward. We have discussion boards and quizzes. I think you'll be doing very good for this course. We basically have on a long semester here, about three weeks to complete each unit. So I'll show you how I divide this course up. It's, it's not a, a list of assignments that you'll find in other courses. It's four different units. And so it's very manageable. You have three weeks to complete that. No more than enough time to complete quality college level work. And the organizers will give you an outline to understand how that needs to be done. So again, if you just, if you will spend your time, all right, there's no commuting going on here, which is great. I always like to say, you know, I've been a, a faculty advisor for many years. If you, if you take 10 hours per course per week of study time and preparation, I think you'll, I think you'll, un, you, you'll do very well. If you wait and try to complete some of these projects the day before they're due. My friends, you'll, you'll find yourself in Dante's fifth circle of hell. That's Dante's Inferno. And that's anger. And because, you know, you, you won't do the, the work that you know you could have done. So we start easy, we break it down, and we work a little bit each day. And that's the best way to attack any class. And certainly this one right in here. This is an online class. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I get paid to do the, the tough stuff, right? Of course it is. So you do need good investments. All right. Personal finance. I think you should invest personally in the best technology that you can for your academic career as well as your professional career. And so good desktop, uh, laptop, at least, uh, phones and tablets really don't work that well on a canvas learning system for any of the quizzes, or if you're going to try to do it always on a phone, you'll be at a great disadvantage. So always need good internet access. Okay. And uh, that is just a requirement. Right now we have a TCC technology statement that you can link to. I have this in the course as well, but it just what you're going to need uh, to do well in an online class. So good, good internet service uh, in, in, in a good state of the art computer system. That's where I think you should spend a little extra money on because it's really going to help you in, in, in certainly your career. Student conduct, we will be communicating with each other via discussion boards, possibly emails. And so uh, obviously we keep that to the utmost professionalism. We just think that this is a work team and how would we communicate at work? And the greater emotional intelligence that we have in life, we've seen the greater career potential that one person will have. Plagiarism, yes, we do write in this class. Yes, there is that chat, GPT, all right, AI. And uh, we do have Turnitin that will catch that very quickly. So, you know, uh, it will. it's also very good at catching prior assignment. Now, I'm one of the few professors that even teach this class. So it will, it will catch another person's work that, that has been done in this class before. And it will catch it right off the bat. And uh, anything that has a 50% match on Turnitin, and you'll get the results as well. You need to rewrite that or prepare to receive a penalty. And I don't want you to do that. All right. I don't want you to receive an F. I want you to do very well. So I have a video on how to create, how to format, and how to submit your written projects in a good grading rubric. 
So I will walk you through that. I, I like putting these videos together for you. So they'll keep you, um, uh, you know, abreast and organized of this class. Here are the way this course is set up. It's set up with 900 total points. I'm giving you 25 points right off the bat with the orientation quiz. We have three unit quizzes. All right, they're 25 points a piece. I give you several attempts. Again, they just kind of quiz you over those units for personal finance. We have 10 discussion boards. They're 10 points a piece. These really add up when you miss several discussion boards. If that's if that happens to you, you know, it, it really does deduct from your grade. And these are great. This is where so much learning happens. I learn from you and we learn from each other how to save money, how to do different things. And so uh, plates take advantage. There's basically, you know, kind of sort of one do every week uh, in a 16 week semester in 10 weeks. So you kind of get the idea there. Um, written assignments, this is where the learning really begins. We have three unit projects. They're worth 200 points a piece. Again, I have a video. I have a, a, list, a, a list of questions for you for each unit that you will answer. And your best, your best resource is the book. So the book will have to be cited as your source and you're going to rewrite that in your own words. Again, I go over that in that video. In the very end, instead of a project, we'll have a, an exam completing your financial plan. And that has to do with a lot of retirement and estate planning, can, kind of wraps everything up. It's straightforward, 900 points. These are your grades, gold, silver, bronze. That's all we want to look at. We don't want to look at anything down here. The only reason I would make a grade like this would be that I didn't do anything. I missed my discussion boards. I did a very uh, marginal job. I barely even wrote anything down on my projects and, and that would get me in that situation. Do the work that we need to do and we should be looking at the gold and silver medals right in there. All right and everything I tend to grade very quickly so you will always you don't have to wait to the end of the semester to ever find your grade in this class. So this is the organization. Again you can read through this but planning your personal financial future. We look at debt in unit two, we look at investments, how to, how to actually gain money. And then we look at, at completing that financial plan. Basically the lesson resources, we have notes, videos, web links, and PowerPoints that I have for you. Always look at that course organizer, which we will go over here in just in a minute. And uh, you'll be always up to date. Attendance in an online class. If you have taken online classes before, then you're well aware of this. If you're brand new to Tarrant County College, well then welcome. Uh, I should have said that from the beginning, but welcome to your first semester at Tarrant County College. Uh, we do online attendance, and here's how we do that. <clears throat> they are done through our discussion boards. Any assignment that we have counts as your attendance. So as long as we're doing our discussion boards, written assignments, quizzes, uh, or an exam, that is going to be the attendance. If I don't do one of those, I get the grade of a zero, which is not going to help me out any, and I get an absence. Now, we're in with a third party attendance system that basically, anytime I have an absence, no matter what class, lecture or online, I get an email sent to me. And it's not a very pleasant email. It always says, you're in danger, 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 something like that. Get, get your work done. I don't do it, it's automatically sent out. So if you ever get one of those, just know that that's coming from an automated email system, just trying to let students be aware that, you know, you're, uh, the student's missing some courses. Um, there is this right in here. If you miss over five assignments, that's like five days, uh, a student could be dropped from a course. Check that with all of your courses, all right? Uh, that's not good because you only get so many drops during your Texas public school academic career. Now I want to let you know I don't do that. All right, I believe that is your responsibility. If uh, if you need to drop a class then you need to do it and I would never drop a, a, a student if they're passing obviously. Uh, once in a while I try to drop a student if they just never attended but again I believe that is our responsibility so please don't assume that I would do that. I would drop you. Uh, several years ago, we got into it with a little stu a student basically said that, that you should have dropped me. And I go, hey, I, I told you the get go, you know, that's your responsibility uh, because they wanted to be dropped from the course. They, they had missed uh, so many assignments. I, let's let, let's not let that happen to us. All right. I want you to do well. That's, that's the main thing, because this class is not English. All right. It's not history. It's not government. 
It's not something you're going to forget as soon as you walk out of the classroom. This is these are these are strategies proven that are going to help you in life, help you throughout your career, and and help you do well. So that's why I think it's really the most important class you ever take. I know a lot of people say that, but but this is this because it's about you, my friends. So let's let's do well. Our communication, I, I communicate through email and announcements. I'll have announcements that basically say, hey. Things are coming due. Uh, make sure you know you, you're, you're on track. And we have an assignment due this week. We have a quiz that's up and due. So I will I will always check your emails throughout the week. Okay. And again, I think that the, one of the most important business skills that you're going to have is your written communication. So when you email me, you're not texting me. You need proper grammar. You need to say Professor Sala, not Hey Dude. I get that a lot. I've gotten it more than I should. Let's put it that way. Professor Sala, always put BUSI 1307 in your email, in your title heading, so I can get to your question very fast. And if you put the section 86005, that helps me. I teach seven classes for Tarrant County College, and I teach different ones, business principles, marketing, and two or three of personal finance, lecture and online. So please put that section number 86005. I can get to your question very, very fast. You just want to have professional communication. I sit on several advisory committees for Tarrant County College and just in the uh, in our local community. And I ask, you know, presidents and directors and employees, you know, what uh, what's an important skill that's being overlooked that that that's you don't see college graduates doing very well. The first thing they say is written communication. Uh, again, we have five generations working in the workforce today. So you still have some traditionalists, some older baby boomers that they are all about proper grammar and spelling. And so you will get a lot more respect uh, when we do that. So just on your emails, make sure that uh, it is business so I can, I can get you as soon as I possibly can. I will respond within 48 hours, generally sooner, but that's how uh, I do it. As your instructor, I'm going to provide you relevant notes and lecture videos. I will respond to those emails between Monday and Thursday within 48 hours. Uh, if you have an email on Friday or on the weekend, uh, I will check periodically but generally, it's going to be answered by 3 o'clock on the following Monday. Now, I mean, that's just give me that much time. I will try. I will always, you know, well, you know I'll just say, I'm going to do my best. All right about that. Grade your written projects and provide you good feedback within seven days after the due date. Okay? Uh, and I'll monitor those discussion boards on a, on a weekly basis and, and have those graded through and provide those announcements. Now, when there's some in here like myself, I, I consider myself a little OCD that you read everything on that syllabus the first day and you go, oh my God, what did I get myself into? This is too much. Don't do that. Just breathe. Yeah. All right. Total awareness here. Okay. That's what we want. Uh, just relax. If you've read through the entire syllabus, remember you don't complete this course in one day. Rome was not built in a day. It was a 565 year empire. Okay. Best way to succeed in college and I think in life is keep what is directly in front of you, okay? And what's directly in front of you in this class is going to be a unit lesson. And inside that unit lesson is a discussion board. You may have one per week. Check the organizer. You have a quiz. I give you three attempts on a 25-question quiz, and I take the highest grade. Perfect. Written projects. This is the big one here. This is the heart of the class. And again, I have a video just for that. If you will complete three to four questions a week, because they're about 10 to 11 questions, in a three-week period, you have that completed. It'll be great, all right? And you'll have a high-quality written project. It, the answers are not one-sentence answers. Again, I implore you, my friend, please re-watch that video, and I'll show you where those videos are. Again, I think it's the most important course you take throughout your college career. I have many students who have, have a degree and they just come back for this course. This course has actually been listed as a course that someone could take if they file bankruptcy. If a person files bankruptcy, they have to go through some sort of financial training and this course is qualified for that. All right. Again, 
once we have a positive relationship with money, we, we, we get proactive, we get an emergency fund, we build good credit scores, we start eliminating debt, and then we invest systematically for our future, we'll have a whole new feeling of contentment for our finances. So we're going to make this a great semester. All right, that's our syllabus. If I just click here, again, you can download this, which I definitely suggest you do. Download this, download your course organizer. So there we are. Uh, it's fall 2023. I will change that real quick. Uh, but the, the dates are all updated here. And so this tells you, there's our unit lesson one. These are the assigned chapters. These are your due dates right in here. So I've got you all set up for that. Anytime you see a little problem, don't hesitate to email me, okay? Because this will also be on your syllabus in your Canvas page. And it has a due date and it takes you directly to the assignment. But this is something nice that you can print out uh, directly to your workspace at home. That you always have an idea, hey, what's coming up? So. We work all the way through here, and then as soon as you know it, my friends, as soon as this semester starts, and I've been teaching for a while, it, it starts to end. I mean, in November, we're, we're coming in for a nice, soft landing, and then we are done in early December. So print out that course organizer. I would suggest you print out that course syllabus. Just have that maybe in a little folder titled BUSI 1307 Personal Finance, so you, you always know what's going on. Now, I'm going to go back to the Canvas page and just give you a little navigation. So I want you to do well in this course. So here we are back on our course page. Again, I am look, you're looking at my instructor view. It will be a cleaner view as a student view right now. But if I put it on student view, you won't see everything the course has because it comes, it, it, it comes open at different dates. So, Here's the home page. Here is the syllabus page as well. There's my syllabus one more time if you need that. And I have it kind of, I have it printed out right in here. But if you scroll down a little more, here's the course summary. Here we go, my friends. Every assignment is right here and it tells you when it's due. When it shades, of, when it goes into shades of gray, that means we are past due. Uh, we need to get things done because I rarely accept late work. We just got too much going on. Instead of trying to go backwards, I, I, I want to go forwards on things. So there's everything that we've got right there. So your syllabus is a great, great, great tool. Generally speaking, you'll also have uh, assignments come due on the right hand side through uh, our campus announcements, modules, the way I have it set up. If you've taken some online courses before, you would see like 50 different assignments just all all the way down. Um, I don't like that. There's your orientation quiz. Super simple. It basically just says that, hey, I've read my syllabus. I've read my course organizer. I have an idea what this course is. Once you hit yes, I understand. A little contract uh, that you know things are supposed to be done on time. Uh, this is how I grade. And this is how many points are in the course. So I give you that 25 points, but it's also an acknowledgement that you understand how this course is going to get through. Here is our first personal, you know, planning personal finances. So when you come into it, if you've never done a Canvas course, I give you a little bit of an overview. I give you a checklist right here, and I give you the unit lesson deliverables. So deliverable in business is something that you have to deliver, right? That, that's the project you're working on. Uh, whatever it is that we're doing. So we have an orientation quiz, we have discussion boards, we have that one quiz, and there's our big project. Now, you can just keep going, or you can hit this next button in the personal finances, uh, in the canvas, and it will show you what's up. So there's my, right in here, a giant PDF of a PowerPoint. So if you want my PowerPoint, it is yours. Now here's screen recordings. I've made these in the past few years, and so they're really good to watch. It's, it's like me lecturing in my lecture class, but it's a screen recording. And most students really like it because it just cements in what the book is, it has. And it also goes over some of the project. But so there you are. So I've, I've got you a nice video set up for you. I keep pressing on. I have notes for you. So if you want some notes you can print out, there they are. They go over 
the five units of this course. I'm sorry, the five chapters of this unit. And as I keep hitting next here, uh, again, some cool websites. How, what a mortgage calculator looks like. Uh, legal forms, all right? Maybe you need uh, a legal document. This is uslegalforms.com. Uh, you know, it'll save you a ton of money to do a simple will. Uh, you got it. Mutual fund research, you'll basically see this on every single unit that we have. And as we keep moving on, there's our first discussion board. All right, so our, our discussion board. The first one's always a fun one. It's an introduction. It's a little bit of networking. We need to really have a strong network. So give us your name, the college degree you wish to attain. Uh, tell us where you work and, and, and what's your dream job. You know, what's that going to look like? Uh, what do you hope to achieve by taking this course? If I were to ask you what your favorite Marvel DC superhero movie uh, is uh, in character, all right, mine's Deadpool one and two, and I know there's uh, uh, people who just I just don't like that stuff. Well, then what's the, what's your favorite movie in general? Again, these are always talking points. Every question here is what you may have in an interview, or or or, or a just a casual interview with somebody on your elevator pitch, and you kind of want to know what type of person you are. Hey, if I was to ask you. You have a favorite playlist, I'm sure. What is the first song? did not say favorite song, but the first song on your favorite playlist. So mine is Reeling in the Years by the group Steely Dan. Okay, I've given you a one-time $4,500 gift card. You gotta spend it in 24 hours and it, or you're gonna lose the money. You, you, this is for your technology. This is electronic devices. Sometimes I get people want to want to buy different you know vacations and food, which is cool. But but just want to see what kind of tech you, person you are. You get a laptop, a phone, a tablet, a camera, a gaming device. What would you buy? What would you buy? Uh, mine is the new MacBook Pro 16 inch with two terabytes of SSD drive and 32 gigs of RAM. And I may have to borrow a little extra money from one of you uh, because this is eleven four thousand. Uh, actually, I do have that, but I. I did buy the Mac Mini. I am a Mac person. I also use a PC, but I think the Mac just has a better experience. And anyone interested in the Mac Mini, it's a great deal for under a thousand dollars. You get, you can get basically right here. You don't get the screen, but you can just put it up to a really good screen. I'm using an ASUS uh, Art screen, uh, 30, 32 inches. I think I got it on Amazon for like three hundred dollars. It is, it is fantastic. The same screen I'm using right now if it were Samsung, probably seven or eight hundred dollars. So any rate, uh, I always believe, you know, get get the best tech you can, my friend. So I'm giving you forty five hundred dollars for your best tech. That's what the answer is. So when you're ready to post, simply click this reply button. That's how we do a uh, discussion board. OK, so, so so put yours in there. Then you go and reply to at least two students. So here's how the discussion boards work. They're, they're ten points apiece. Six points for your response and two points for each student response, which is just up to two. So you get your 10 points for 100 points this semester. Your thoughts should at least be 100 words. These are not, hey man, this is what I do, or hey dude, I think that's cool. Oh, that's a great idea. That, that's not going to get you any points on your response. It's at least 75 words, which is very minimal right there, uh, to your fellow classmates uh, to get your full post. So 100 for you and 75 per each classmate. As we get into this, this is the fun one. Then we get into how to save money. Uh, what investments do you think would be the best for uh, in this situation? And we learn a tremendous amount from each other. So uh, this is great learning right in here. And there we go. Then we'll go on to another one, living on a budget. Again, this really does help us out. And then I believe you have one more. How would you save an extra 100 a month? These are due at different times. Look at your... At your um, Course organizer, here's our first quiz. All right, again, I give you three attempts and I take the highest grade. These quizzes are open day one. So what you could do is on the first, as you open this course up, say, I'm gonna go ahead and take the quiz right now and just see where I am. And then you can improve upon that. I also have a review for you right here, but uh, it's kind of interesting just to say, hey, this is what I think I know. And then at the end, wow, this is what I should know. It's pretty cool. Now, this is the big one. This is planning personal finances. So that is where you download your project right there, okay? So if you were to download that, I'll click that download button and it will pop right up. It's a PDF. You definitely want that. There's the video. 
I implore you, I beg you, watch this. This is about a 15 minute video of how to write, format, and submit. Exactly what I'm looking for and I go over my grading rubric. Those who watch it do an exceptional job. Those who say, oh, I know what I'm doing, I don't need to, I don't need to worry about that, usually do a pretty poor job on their first uh, paper. And I also have the grading rubric. So again, versus trying to tell you all that right now, I've got something set up. These are 200 points a piece, my friends. These are big. Almost a third of the grade right there, um, about 25% about of your grade. If I miss one, I'm really digging a hole for myself. And so let's get that, start working on it as soon as you can. The due dates are always going to be right in here. It's all you got to look at, uh, depending on what semester that uh, this might, you know, someone might be. And I also teach a fall second eight weeks. It'll be different, but always look at your due dates, and I think you're going to be fine. That's how the modules go right in there. And then we do the second one, and these will these these are not all open on day one. The first one is, and then they, they come open during the semester. We, we we cannot finish this course in a week. We're not allowed to let, let that happen anymore. Uh, but everything is contained that you'll need everything in your lesson units. The other part that I want to look at is our McGraw Hill Connect. Now you paid for this book, so you go to McGraw Hill right in here. All right, you click that button. And there we go, there we go. So there's my connect section. I've already paired it up for you. Once you go there, it's gonna ask for your email, okay? And hopefully for right now, I would use my the MyTCC email, you know, your first name, that last name, at MyTCCD.edu. And then once you connected it, you're always good. If, my friends, if for any reason, there's always glitches, it asks you to pay for this book, you're not going to pay for it, we do a workaround. You, add, you immediately click a link that says start a two-week free trial, and it will give you full access to the book. You then email me to say that, Professor Sal, uh, this uh, McGraw-Hill asked me to pay for the book. Something didn't happen right on their end. I'll get with them. We'll click it, and next time you click in, we're all good. But it always, McGraw-Hill always gives you a free two-week free trial if there's any problems uh, logging in the first day. Just remember, uh, just kind of imagine, I should say, every, every uh, school is now going through McGraw-Hill. I mean, there's a ton of schools, so we may have... Uh, on, on the first day of August 21st, there may be, you know, uh, my God, 3 million students across the United States trying to log in. You can see what might happen there. So uh, hopefully there's no problems, but if there is, we do the workaround, free two-week trial. Let me know. I get to McGraw-Hill. I've already contacted them, so hopefully there's no problem. But there is, we have a workaround. This is how, again, you would email. I mean, look through all of these items right in there that you'll find the people in the class, the announcements, but announcements are also generally emails. So check out your announcements. They come out at different times. That's the overview of this class, okay? Email me any, give, any anytime you need to, my friends. Uh, again, there's your syllabus, your organizer. Download that, get that orientation quiz. Let's get this class working soon as we can and enjoy the semester. You're going to learn a lot from this class. So my final words to you are, let's make it a great semester.